How you doing? It's Bill Stage from 97X, and I have some very important guests here for this weekend. We've got Sweat Stock happening in uh, East Moline, and uh, these girls are going to describe what the hell is Sweat Stock and why <laughs> you need to go. Uh, we've got uh, Kate. Are you from uh, Hive Con Hive Event Consulting? Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, cool. And uh, and Chrissy, you're from All Sweat Productions. Right. What is All Sweat Productions? Why do you call it All Sweat Productions? Uh, All Sweat is kind of a play on words. Uh, the guy that started it, his name is Al Sweet, mm. and he's the sweatiest dude ever. <laughs> he's, he sweats <laughs> like it's his job, and so plus getting a lot of people together for shows, uh, sometimes 20 plus musicians from different genres, different bands, is uh, a sweaty process. So, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, a lot of, of sweat goes into it, so it's all sweat. You guys have been working hard on this event in particular, and we'll get to that in just a second. It's the 50th anniversary of Woodstock, and uh, but this is not the first time we've put local musicians in this kind of predicament where they've got to do uh, a tribute of sorts. Can you kind of go into the history of, of this type of uh, performance? Sure. Um, they started doing these, uh, Al and a few other friends started doing, doing the All Sweats a few years ago, and it just was an idea to get together with some buddies, uh, not necessarily your own band, and just people that you admire or people you'd always wanted to work with but never would have the opportunity, mm -hmm. and uh, do some rock and roll moments, some tribute shows to, to different things. They've done uh, the Beatles, uh, Abbey Road in its entirety, uh, Prince, Purple Rain. Mm -hmm. uh, we had two really successful Michael Jackson shows last summer. Uh, and these are musicians from, you know, several different bands each time, 20 plus usually each time. Yeah. Uh, we've done the last waltz three years in a row. Nice. So that's kind of a, a an annual for us. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. I love I love mixing it up, and you know sometimes, especially if you're in a band, uh, you've got these five guys or four guys or three guys, and that's who you play with. So it's a really cool opportunity for local musicians to uh, to get out and mix it up and do something different. How did you pick the mus musicians, and how did you get them into the 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 uh, tribute uh, side of things as well? Who got to pick all that? Uh well, for us, it's it, it, the whole thing kind of quickly spiraled into an opportunity to grow the, the music community and, and kind of build camaraderie amongst musicians. So uh, we just asked. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And I put a call out there when we announced the festival was a thing, and, uh, and Al and Chrissy were taking um, inquiries from there. Uh, there's, you know, one or two of the bands who have already, like, four group have already done the tribute sets before mm. like for instance the band winterland is a grateful dead tribute band and so they're going to primarily be the core group for that tribute that makes sense yeah and then there's some other bands who've done similar things like the Veelies, for example did a tribute set to janice joplin one year for mm. halloween the dawn has done the who tribute set before so a lot of some of those are kind of core bands within themselves but we're also adding like other other uh, instruments, other vocalists, mm -hmm. things like that, just to help make it a little bit different and a little bit more of uh, a community piece. Gotcha. Yeah, they kind of, uh, everybody was on board with the idea that although you're going to be the band that's going to do this tribute, you're going to do an all sweat. So you're going to have guest vocalists and maybe some guests uh, playing different instruments. So right. uh, we wanted to get as many Quad City musicians as wanted to be a part, sure. to be a part of it. But then, like, you know, like Sly and the Family Stone, for example, no one locally has, has done that yet that we, that we are aware of. So mm -hmm. how many people are, are in that, Chrissy? Like, I think there's about 15 in that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Several different bands all, yeah. all over genre-wise. So. Yeah. And we've, you know, they've been rehearsing a lot the last week or so, a couple weeks. And the feedback that I've heard from the musicians is like, wow, that was so cool. I, I didn't know that drummer could could snap like that that right. you know like i've heard about him but playing with him is a whole nother thing and like mm -hmm. it's just been like spiraling everyone's like really generated around it right now really excited for the shows mm -hmm. the sound rehearsals sound great they do yeah so 
No, oh, that's that's very cool. It's coming up on uh, this Friday and Saturday, uh, the fiftieth anniversary of Woodstock. Um, did either of you guys uh, go to e any of the Woodstocks previously? There was ninety four and and ninety nine. No, didn't make it out no. to no. either of those. I made it to ninety four, and it was spectacular. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Joe Cocker opened up on Saturday morning at ten a.m. So watching him, and then Blind Melon right after that. So. Uh, yeah, so I've got a, a special place in my heart for especially Woodstock 94, but, you know, growing up on on the music of, of Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin, uh, what, what are your guys' favorite uh, performers of that era? I'd say from that original Woodstock, Joe Cocker is, is probably, yeah, I just, I love the dude. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a huge fan of, uh, of Jimi Hendrix and, I know, you know, like um, Led Zeppelin and stuff like that, which obviously is a Woodstock fan. But, right. um, but I mean, all, all those, all of these acts that we're playing tribute to are, are kind of like the soundtrack, right? I mean, yeah. everybody loves it a little bit, you know. Or there's something that you, you're going to like yeah, from this lineup. Yeah, for right? sure. And it's, it, it's all easy listening, great music. Yeah. Uh, who's going to do the fish chant, the fish song? <laughs> <laughs> Any idea? <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we got something in the line for that. I would imagine. Got to show up. Yeah. Find out. All right. We're gonna have a yogi. <laughs> we're gonna have. We're gonna have. Oh, you guys are doing some some different stuff on Saturday morning. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So we decided to add. You know, we really wanted to to kind of play off this as this music and community festival. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday morning when gates open we're going to we're going to open the day with a free yoga session led by Dan Knees of the River Music Experience It'll be free we'll have yoga mats so you don't have to lug yours around with mm -hmm. or if you, if you do please bring them and then after that we're going to do a uh, community drum circle led mm -hmm. by uh, local musician Terry Hansen and he'll bring all sorts of hand percussion instruments we get a big kumbaya circle of just jamming even if you don't normally play mm -hmm. there's something that you can shake or hit or you know join so in clap your hands stomp your feet that's right. sing along do something right uh two two stages over there at the the murphy park at the ben and east moline on uh, friday and saturday so that's going to be an awesome time sweat stock uh, 2019 this the the tribute for woodstock 94 did we did we hit everything is there anything else i missed you what else? What? what do we need to? Well, what do the people need to know? Uh, well, I mean, one other element. You said two stages. So mm. one of a, one stage is going to be dedicated to the Woodstock tribute acts. The other stage, we're we, a big component of this, is that we wanted to feature some of these musicians' original music. Sure. So one of the stages is going to be completely Quad City based. Their original tunes will be alternating with the Woodstock tribute sets. So awesome. you can kind of get a little bit of the flavor of what the QC music scene has to offer. Mm -hmm. I mean, and we know we're only scratching the surface. There's a lot of people oh, out yeah. there that, that aren't involved right. this year. But, you know, who knows? Hopefully this goes well. We do it again. We can always, you know, rotate the cast, get more people involved. That's kind of what it's about is just yeah. getting everyone together and see what happens. Right. Very cool. I know uh, gates open at 4 on, on Friday. Friday. Okay. And, I mean, if people want to kind of cut through the – the, the red tape of waiting and, and getting their their wristbands or whatever at the gate, they can always go to Eventbrite and, or uh, to uh, sweatstock.com. Sweatstockqc.com. That's horrible. I don't mean to correct you. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the Sweatstockqc.com. <laughs> they can get their tickets there ahead of time and, and kind of save a little bit of time. And and probably get an an idea on on scheduling and you know people yeah. don't want to miss this band and that band and right. so absolutely uh, good place to go. All right, well thank you guys very much for coming in. We appreciate for it. Thank us. you. See you at Sweatstock. <laughs>